Welcome to our lesson on ratio and proportions. So in this lesson, we're going to write a ratio as a fraction and as a percentage. And we'll begin with this question here, where we have a pattern made up of black and white tiles. And we've been asked to write this as a simplified ratio in question A. So I'll begin by writing the ratio of black to white. And you can see by counting the tiles, we have eight black and 12 white. Now to simplify this ratio, I'm going to divide both of these numbers by the highest common factor, which is 4. And 8 divided by 4 makes 2, and 12 divided by 4 makes 3. So our simplified ratio of black to white is 2 to 3. And the question B, what fraction of the tiles are black? Well, if we look at our simplified ratio, we can see we have 5 shares in total, and of them, five shares, two of them are black. So two fifths of our pattern is made up of black tiles. And we can see this works as well, using the other ratio, where now we have 20 shares. And of these 20 shares, eight are black. And we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by four. And again, we get two fifths. So you can see two fifths of our pattern it's made up of black tiles. Okay, let's try another question. So here we have a necklace made up of yellow and green beads. Do you want to try and write a simplified ratio of the yellow to green beads and then write the fraction of the beads which are green? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we'll begin with question A, where we're going to write the ratio of yellow to green beads. And you can see in total, we have eight yellow and two green. And we can simplify this ratio by dividing both by the highest common factor, which is two. Eight divided by two is four. Two divided by two is one. So our simplified ratio of yellow to green is four to one. And for part B, the fraction of a beads which are green, well, we have five shares, four and one is five, and one of them shares is green, so we have one fifth. And again, we can check this works using our other ratio of eight to two, where we now have 10 shares and two of them are green. And we can simplify this by dividing both by two. And again, we get one fifth. Okay, let's try one more question. So in this question, we have a ratio of men to women members in a bowling club, and this is two to three. Do you want to try and work out what fraction of the members are men and then what percentage of the members are women? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we have our ratio of women to men and this is two to three. You can see we have five shares in total and of these five shares, three of them are men. So three fifths of the members are men. And for part two, what percentage of the members are women? We'll keep with the same ratio of two to three, which means of the five shares, two of them are women. And to write this as a percentage, we need it as a fraction of a 100. So we're going to use equivalent fractions. We'll multiply the denominator by 20. We'll multiply the numerator by the same. So we have 40 over 100, which is 40% of the members are women. Okay, let's move on. So here we have three questions to recap our learning. Do you want to try these questions yourself? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So in question one, I can't mix to use flour to sugar in the ratio of two to one. What fraction of a mixture is sugar? Well, you can see we have three parts to our ratio and one part is the sugar so we have one third. In question two, a box of fruit contains apples to pears to bananas in the ratio two to one to three. What fraction are apples? Well, we can see we have six shares in total and two of them are apples and we can simplify this fraction to make one third. For pears, we have one share out of six and for bananas, we have three shares out of six, which we can simplify to make one half. 
For question three, four sevenths of the children at a school have school dinners, so we can write this as a ratio to not school dinners. What is the ratio of children who eat school dinners to those who do not? Well, if four sevenths do, three sevenths must not. And we can simplify this by multiplying both by seven, so we have a ratio four to three. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.